Hey everybody, in this video we're going to show you how to create a two-way table in Google Sheets. Or some people, if you're used to using programs like Excel, it's called a pivot table. And the idea is that when you have a spreadsheet like this, here I've got all the White House employees from 2011 to 2016, and we want to summarize the data very, very quickly. So, with this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Data, and I'm going to go down to Pivot Table. And it's going to open up a brand new tab. Now with the new features in Google Sheets, it's, also, it's going to make a few suggestions. So right up here it says average of salary for each year. So it's going to break down the employees by year and then take their average salary. So let's just click on that and see what it does. And there it is. So we've got the averages. And then from 2011 all the way to 2016. And so what it did is it filled in the rows, and what it chose is it chose the year. So that's what it chose to fill in here. And then the salaries, it's taking the average. Now let's create a different pivot table, one that we make up by ourselves. So let's see. We have some employees that are employees. We have some that are detailees. So let's see if we can figure out a breakdown of what the, what the difference is between them. So we'll go to data, pivot table, and let's see, status is that variable. So I'm going to go to rows, and I'm going to click status. And so there it shows detailee and employee. Now what gets people confused is what do you put next for these? Well, let's go to value. Let's take a look at what we have. So we've got name, status, we've already counted, salary, no, pay basis. It looks like we're going to use name. And what it's going to do is it's going to count. Now notice that it says count A. Now I could choose count, but it'll give me nothing. And the reason is, is with Google Sheets, if you use the count command, that's just going to count numbers. But here we want to count names. So here, by using count A, it's showing us that over the past six years, there's been 170 detailees and 2,614 employees. But again, some of those may be repeats from one year to the next. So what about if we broke it down by employees and detailees per year? Maybe we could do that. So let's go to pivot table. And what we're going to do is for the rows, we're going to add let that be our status. So there's detailee and employee. Now we're going to add columns. Now column is going to be the year. So now we've got 2011 all the way through 2016. So now we've got our table set up, but we still have to fill in the values. So we'll fill in names. And there we go. So we can see over time how the number of detailees changed and how the number of employees changed. One other nice feature is you can choose to include the totals or to not include the totals if that suits your purpose or not. So, very helpful way to create a very quick pivot or two-way table to summarize a whole bunch of data. Thanks for watching. If you got any more questions, please type them in the comments.